In this video, we are discussing distinct pattern overview. In this particular filtering pattern, actually we are interested to list or make the set of those records which are unique. We are not interested for those records which are having, which have got the repetition and non-distinct. So let us go for more discussion on this topic. What is distinct filtering pattern? So in case of distinct filtering pattern, will find out the unique value in the end. So at the end, we will be getting only the unique values, not any duplicated one. So it matches the condition of the records, whether the matching is already done or not. So it simply ignores other matching data. So whenever we are going for this particular uh, distinct pattern overview, we are at first we are searching for the records. And if we find that one data item has got repeated again, then we are not interested for it. So we require to find out only the distinct set of records. At the end, it generates those records where the records are unique. As an example, if we want to track the web browser and device of our visitors who are logging into our websites and for marketing analysis, then we need to find distinct values of them and we do not need the duplicate data for multiple times. So you know that let us suppose we are ha having one um, online training portal. In that case, I want to know that how many distinct users are logging and taking the service from our portal. So in that case, I'm not interested to get the duplicate values, but I want to get the unique set of users. So in those cases, we can go for this distinct pattern filtering uh, design pattern. Distinct filtering pattern structure. So in the MapReduce framework, it is relatively easy to figure out this task and the MapReduce framework can group the key together to remove duplicates. So MapReduce will, will just group the keys and it will remove the duplicates there. So just you can find that what are the two operations to be done at the mapper end and at the reducer end. So map will take this key value pair as input and it will emit the value with the null. And here the reducer will also take the key value pair set input and it, it emits the key that is a distinct set of keys. So in this way, this particular the distinct filtering pattern will be working here. And in the next videos, we'll be going for more detailing about its implementation and some other discussion. Thanks for watching this video.